Hi, this is Liz Sneddon. Let's have a look at units and conversion for measurement. So when we've got some different units here, you can see there's a whole pile of different things. We can talk about the length of things, kilometres, metres, centimetres, millimetres. We can talk about the, how much capacity there is, litres, millilitres, tonnes, kilograms, grams, milligrams and many more. So here's a diagram which we want to try and remember to help us convert length. So for example, if I want to go from kilometres to metres, I need to multiply by a thousand. Now in one metre I have a hundred centimetres, so that's why to go from metres to centimetres I multiply by a hundred. In one centimetre I have ten millimetres, so that's why I need to multiply by ten to go from centimetres to millimetres. In the reverse way, I will be dividing by those numbers. So using that diagram, let's see if we can do some conversions here. So if I've got kilometres, then what I want to do is I want to convert kilometres into metres. So looking at my diagram, I can see I want to go from kilometres to metres. So that means I want to do this bit here, I want to multiply by a thousand. So I'm going to say 5 times 1,000, and that's going to give me 5,000 metres. So the next one, we want to go from metres to centimetres. So metres to centimetres, so that's this one here. And so I want to multiply by 100. So I'm going to say 10 times 100, and that's going to give me or one with three zeros on it, so that's a thousand centimetres. The next one, I want to go from kilometres to metres, so we, that's this one here again, so we want to multiply by a thousand, so 0 0.75 times 1000 is going to give me 750 metres. Part D, 10 millimetres to metres, so I want to go millimetres to metres, so I want to start here at the millimetres, and I want to go to the metres. So I need to do both of these. So I need to do 10, and I'm going to divide it by 10, and I'm going to divide it by 100. So 10 divided by 10 is 1, and 1 divided by 100 is 0 0.01. In part E, we want to go from millimetres to centimetres. So millimetres to centimetres, I need to multiply by 10. So 42 times 10, oh not times 10, sorry, divided by 10 is going to give me 4.2 centimetres. Number F, we want to go from metres to kilometres. So metres to kilometres, I want to divide by 1,000. So I'm going to say 2,400 divided by 1,000 is going to give me 2.4 kilometres. Part G, we want to go from millimetres to metres. So let me just change my colour pen. So millimetres to metres, I want to go from there, jump twice there. So I'm going to do my 420 divided by 10 and then divide that by 100. So 420 divided by 10 is 42. 42 divided by 100 is 0 0.42. Then last one, from centimetres to millimetres. So centimetres to millimetres, I'm going to multiply by 10. So 300 times 10 equals 3,000 millimetres. Similar kind of diagram if we are converting mass. So we go from tons to kilograms to grams to milligrams. And the nice thing with mass is all of these are, we have to either multiply or divide by 1000. But it's other, other than that specific, the conversion stuff is exactly the same. Thanks very much for watching.